welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another spiritual reading. Today I'm so excited because we are going to be doing a general reading which is all on the new moon um, which is occurring on July 23rd in Leo. Now this new moon is on July 23rd for everyone no matter where you are in the world which hasn't happened in a very long time so I'm extra excited about that and Let's just kick off today's reading. I love doing these for you. When I was shuffling the cards today, it was a very, the energy was like, I didn't have to shuffle for very long, which hasn't happened in a long time. So let's just see what comes up. I'm gonna start with the old faithful. We're gonna start with the angel oracle from Doreen Virtue. Okay, angels, we have some guidance and clarity for our beautiful MK Love fam to help them deal with the energies for the new moon in Leo on July 23rd. Now this is a general reading, so just take from it what feels right from you. By the end of the reading, your subconscious is basically going to give you a message that's going to stick in your head, and that's your little divine message for the day. Okay, ooh, the ocean. That means we need to spend more time bathing in the ocean as it's like high vibration, high frequency, and it helps to recalibrate your body so you become into vibrational alignment. The deep blue spe speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into the healing womb, bringing about desirable effects. Better yet, spend some time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Now, if you don't live anywhere near the ocean, then I highly recommend that you start listening to some ocean um, soundtracks. You can find them on YouTube as you're going to sleep. It's just, the ocean just has such a calming effect. That's really, really beautiful. We all know that the ocean makes us feel really, really good. Okay, I just want to draw another one from here. Can we have some more clarity on the ocean for a beautiful MK Love fan, please, angels? Can you see that? What does this mean? Why the ocean? Okay, time to go. We haven't had this one for a while, have we? Okay. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will always rise again tomorrow. I just heard the song, the sun will come out tomorrow. From Annie. Um, it says, endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. Something is ending for you, and I feel that like in order to help you deal with that, being near the ocean, it would be optimal if you could bathe in the ocean, even if it's winter. If you look into um, the Wim Hof method, you can find him on YouTube and Instagram and all those places. Wim Hof method is all about um, immersing yourself into like cold water. The Happy Pair, if you're a vegan and you are in Ireland, um, are massive believers of bathing in the ocean, regardless of what time of the year. This is like a puzzle. Let's get some more pieces. Okay, I'm going to move on now to Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue. We have some clarity on the ocean and time to go. So something's ending for something to begin. There's a new cycle that I feel is happening. Organic foods, ooh. What I love about this card is it is a reminder that when you eat high vibrational foods, plants in their most natural state, unprocessed and refined, it has the frequency to help elevate your vibration. And that's why I eat um, whole plant foods. I'm 100% vegan, have been for almost three and a half years now. Changed my whole life, literally cured my acne. I don't have acne anymore. Changed my eye color, my eyes are super bright. Look how white my whites are now. Food is a massive component into holistic health and wellness. 
And when you start nourishing your body with foods that are truly optimal for your health and vitality, it just sets you in the right mindset. That's like if you eat a pasta, you want to have a nap for an hour after because your, your body is just working overtime to digest it. Okay, what else does it say? Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic pro products. Obviously, organic means pesticide free, which is a fancy way of just saying plants or whatever your skincare products that you're using. Stuff that isn't contaminated, but we have to put the label organic on it. It's funny, you don't go into the fresh food, um, what do you call it, like the produce section and it doesn't say pesticide foods or organic foods. Pesticide foods are considered normal, which is so crazy. All right, let's have a look at this one. Okay. Okay. Ooh, you must be very sensitive to camel, camels, <laughs> chemicals in order to receive this card. Archangel Raphael is recommending that you consume organic foods to eliminate and reduce harmful pesticides from your body. Most likely you've been getting feelings or thoughts in this direction already. In this card is additional validation that you are hearing your divine guidance accurately. Although these all natural products may cost more, they're actually economical investments into your long-term health. Studies show that organic produce contains more vitamins and minerals. From the spiritual standpoint, organic produce is generally raised with loving energy on small and local farms. The increased energy that comes from eating a chemical-free diet is a valuable benefit that pays dividends in many ways. Now, there's additional meanings to that. It says start an organic garden. It's time to replace junk food with whole foods. Use eco-friendly products or cleaning products. Use organic personal care items such as feminine products, makeup, shampoo, and so on. Isn't that interesting? It's like, this may be in order to like, like I know some of you will be like, no, I can't afford organic. You could afford to change maybe just one thing in your shopping if that's where you're at. If you're at a different financial status, then maybe you'll be able to change more. Farmers markets is a perfect way to get really good deals for organic produce. You just kind of have to look on different Facebook groups, that's what I have found, and just see what comes up for you. Always ask around. I feel like, I feel like we need another one from that deck. Okay. Angels, can we have clarity on the ocean? Time to go in organic foods. So I feel like so far the organic foods and the ocean are both ways to help you deal with this energy because both of them are going to help raise your vibration and address whatever this new situation is happening where something is ending and something is beginning. So in order for you to deal with those energies, it's recommended that you're eating really well and that you are listening to the ocean or you're bathing in the ocean. Okay, let's get some more clarity angels, please. For the ocean, time to go in organic foods for our beautiful MK Love Fam. Holy Oh, well, I didn't even see which one flipped. I just got three cards that fell out. I think it's this one. Have faith. Ooh, cause you gotta have faith in me. If I could touch my body. Dear Jesus and Archangel Raphael, thank you for boosting my faith so I may trust in miracles. I actually drew this card for an Instagram story reading that I did recently. And that's when I actually played the song, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was the song Miracles from Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. Um, how did it go? There can be miracles when you really believe Though hope is great, it dawned and deep I can't think. That's the song, but I sang it off key. I just got really hot just then. So whatever is happening with this chapter that's ending, maybe the chapter is unexpected. Maybe that's why I feel really, really hot. But it's a good thing. Let me just have a 
look at the picture one, one last time. Thank you, Jesus and Archangel Raphael. Raphael, thank you for boosting my faith so I may trust in miracles. And then I just heard that song. I believe in miracles. Do ya, do ya, do ya. Da 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 You sex the name of you. Okay, let's get more clarity. What is happening? Can you give us. Okay, angels, these are the numerology cards to buy Michelle Beckham? Beckham? Can you tell us more about the situation? Because I'm not too sure exactly what. Something's ending. And we need to have faith and we need to go to the, be in the ocean and eat organic foods and basically use pesticide products. Okay. Clarity. Okay, that one. Synchronicity. Now, I know a lot of you see lots of synchronicities, whether it is timing, whether it is a feather on the ground, a coin on the ground. Let's get clarity on this one. 87, that was the year I was born. Bam! 87. 7, 2 is 14, 1 is 15, 1 and 5 is 6. What is the numerology of 6? Let's read what this one says. This card indicates a need to have faith. What? That's just what this one says. In the universal order of events. Even in the most in the midst of hopelessness and uncertainty. Okay, well that's kind of what I was thinking anyway. Yay. Um, there is no such thing as an accident or a coincidence in the universe, and the perfect people and opportunities will appear miraculously when least expected. Even when you can't logically comprehend how your dreams could possibly come true, you must trust in the magical power of synchronicities to deliver what you need. Remember, it isn't your job to know how things will unfold. It is simply your job to believe. Which card was had believe in it too? Oh, this one too, because it had miracles. When you believe. Okay. That means I'm just confirming that I know I'm doing a good job when I see stuff like that in different cards. Um, it is simply your job to believe and know that all is well. The hows, the whens, the whos lie in the hands of the divine. But once you surrender the outcome, you are shown the next logical steps. In order to improve your current situation, you have been asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to trust in the power of synchronicity, by, oh, this is good. My The energy's, the, the heat's just gone now for me. Ba -ba -ba -ba. By living in constant alignment with source through positive thoughts, emotions. Oh, I had that song. It's just emotions taking me over. Um, and prayers, you will automatically attract miraculous synchronicities into your life. Ooh, so you really need to pay attention, my loves, to what is happening around you. If you're not in vibrational alignment, then that is a time when you're not going to notice the signs. Sometimes these signs can be very, um, what's a nice way to say it? Can be like a little nudge or a little push if you're not really looking, if you're not listening to your intuition and following the synchronicities, because sometimes like, let me give you an example of a little nudge. In my old house, we were essentially kicked out because Peter and I rented the house as housemates. Well, we fell in love in the house, but I didn't know him before. So we had rented two separate rooms. Then when we got together, we only, we moved into one room and wanted to get rid of the other. And our landlord said, no, we don't rent to couples. I was like, oh, okay. And she got a little nasty and it turned into us leaving and moving to the Sunshine Coast. So sometimes it's a blessing in disguise. Sometimes it can be um, a little bit more, um, everything is positive. It's just the, your perception and the way that you view it. Sometimes you need a little nudge if you're not paying attention, or maybe you're in a relationship and you've had signs for like the past 20 or 30 years of your marriage 
and you weren't listening to what was going on and all of a sudden this massive explosion happens in your relationship and you're like, oh my God. But it is divine timing. You weren't ready or prepared for whatever was happening. Now you are ready because you have learned to love yourself. You have the self-love practices. You watch my Law of Attraction series. You know how to raise your vibration by listening to our beautiful MK Love um, dance party play playlist on Spotify, by you know writing a letter, releasing things, how to raise your vibration by doing, um, what do you call it, a rampage of appreciation. I love my bed, I love my pillow, I love my beautiful MK Love fan. I love this beautiful glass of water because that makes me drink a lot of water. I love that I have fake nails on so I don't have to look at my fingers and be disgusted in what I did to them, <laughs> you know? So it's, you know the tools to raise your vibration. So pay attention to the synchronicities. And I just feel really good. I, I, the energy is very, very good. The heat is gone from the, the have, have Faith card when I got a little bit hot. But now I feel really good that, that you are aware of the synchronicities. And if you're not, they would be made very clear to you. And just be mindful about the way that you react to them because everything is happening to you is based on your vibration that you are putting out. It is matching where you're at. Okay. So your affirmation is, I have faith that synchronicity will lead me where I need to be. I know that you guys really like that little rap thing that I did for you last time. You know, I was telling you, I used to, when I used to teach my kids, when I was a primary school teacher, I used to rap and go, bump, 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 bump. We should have like an MK Love song, like a beat or something. It says, I have faith that synchronicity will lead me where I need to be. I I wish I, I should just do this as a live stream one day so you can literally talk back to me. I have faith that synchronicity will lead me where I need to be. I have faith that synchronicity will lead me where I need to be. Isn't that beautiful? It's so like simple, but so profound. Yeah, let's get another one. This one? No, I'm gonna be told Tyro. Yeah, tarot. Okay. So this is the angel tarot from Doreen Lerchu. Okay, can we, angels, can we have clarity on the ocean? Time to go. Organic foods, have faith, and synchronicity. I feel like this, I always leave this one to the last because I always feel like it it just um oh please tell me I'm still recording. Yes. It kind of like solidifies everything for us. That's why I like to get the pieces of the story together. Okay. Really? It did technically fall and I've already shuffled. Okay. Night of fire, passion, adventure, self-assured, restless. Night. Ooh. Ooh. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Fire. His face is not like... I see the ocean in the background actually. Can you see that? But he's come, it's like he's coming out of the ocean and he's ready for battle, but he's dressed in beautiful armor. It's like he's prepared. I just feel like you're prepared for what's coming next, even though it may be a sudden, um, a sudden change in events. Maybe it's the, um, the time to go card was saying, what did that one say? Endings are merely a start for a new beginning. So maybe this ending is sudden and it's quick and it's like, you know that it's coming, but you didn't necessarily anticipate for exactly when, but you knew that it was coming. Time is the essence. Have a look at that one, see what comes up for you. Let's get clarity on that one. Night of fire. Fire, fire, fire. Okay. 
Now remember with these cards here, um, with the angel tar tarot, it is about two different things. It can either be about situation or a person. So just take from it what feels right for you. So in regards to the situation, it says a significant situation requires your immediate and full attention. While time is of the essence, it is important, it is important to avoid making rash decisions. Enthusiasm and self-assuredness are wonderful so long as they aren't separated from wisdom and caution. It's basically like tap into your intuition and listen to the divine guidance already within by eating your um, pesticide-free food and by using, by going to the ocean, having faith that whatever is happening is divinely orchestrated for you at the right time. Okay, in regards to the situation or the person, it says a person who's passionate about anything he or she takes on. A take charge individual who moves quickly with confidence and certainty on behalf of loved ones or beloved causes. Fearless, loyal, charismatic, self-assured, adventurous, restless. Possibly impatient or insistent when it comes to having his or her way. Additional meanings. Ooh. A sudden passionate love affair. Now that is totally upstream. Business travel. A change of residence. An emergency. I feel like some of you are moving. Wish it was me. <laughs> Let's get another one. We'll do one more card, okay? Can we have one more card for clarity, please, angels? On the ocean, time to go, organic foods, have faith, synchronicity, and night of fire for a beautiful MK Love fam. This will be the last card. Last card of the day. Why are these ones coming up so quick? Dude, this is the same card that we had last time. Missed opportunity. Remember, we were talking about like her head is down, she's like focused and determined. This is the last card we finished on for the full moon. And look, all the jewels are here, but she's like, duh, 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 duh. I'm on a mission and this is where I'm going. But like I need, uh, yeah, it's just like, it says missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. It's like, Whatever is happening, whatever is this change of events that's coming up for you, you know, this is a good thing. Don't look at it as a negative, whatever is happening. It is divinely orchestrated. So just look at the synchronicities. You've probably been having signs, but you're too busy and focused on whatever you're doing. It's good. This is good for you. Four of water. That's another link to the ocean. So that's three cards that have linked... Holy hell, this card here has the ocean in it too. Okay, so you need to be, yeah. You need to you need to go into the ocean or listen, or just be around water. Water just has such a calming effect. If you're into feng shui, you would um, probably have a water feature at the front of your door. Or listen to the sounds of the ocean and waves. You know, just in the background when you're like making breakfast or cooking dinner or listen to it as you're going to sleep. I don't feel like I need to read anymore. Okay, maybe I do. Do I? I want to second guess myself. I don't think I've said it all. Um... Pour of water. It's time to reevaluate the situation because you're currently missing an opportunity. The solution you're seeking is right in front of your face. Fortunately, positive forces are working to assist you now. Open your eyes to the possibilities and accept that the help that you are being offered. However, you may be distracted or feeling emotionally trapped. It's possible that by focusing on what you don't have, you're actually taking for granted what you do have. Additional meanings, discontentment, apathy, daydreaming, getting lost in your own little world, missing, something missing, boredom. Yeah, you really need to get into vibrational alignment. 
Water is a massive energy that I'm feeling through this reading. You can actually put the water down to organic foods to nourish it, to help it grow. It's basically saying pesticide free. But actually it was saying, it's saying foods. And it's linked to the heart chakra too. The color of the heart chakra is green. Eating um, leafy greens, anything green helps to stimulate the heart chakra. So that could be another sign as well. I'm feeling lots of, I'm feeling good vibrations. I just feel this is the most important card. Listen to the synchronicities that are coming up for you. It's going to help you, you know, um, it's going to help you. Oh, how do I explain it? The synchronicities will come up or they're, they're already there, but you may not be aware of them. But if you start raising your vibration, doing what you love, your self-love practices, it's going to help elevate your frequency so you can be more, you can acknowledge what's happening around you. There's always synchronicities. Maybe you're just not in the right vibration to see them. But I, I feel really good. Let's just do a quick recap for all these cards for you. Ocean synchronicities, having faith there's a new chapter coming and be open to what's coming. Don't, if someone offers you something to go, no, that's not what I want. Look into the possibilities, be open and receptive to what's going on. Okay. These are the cards for you, my loves, for the new moon that is occurring in Leo on July 23rd. We have the ocean card. Time to go. This is when a chapter is ending, a new one is going to be coming for you. Make sure you're eating organic, high vibrational foods. It's going to help you to raise your frequency super duper quick so you don't feel sluggish. Have faith that whatever is happening is divinely orchestrated for you. Look out for the synchronicities because there's a lot of them coming your way. Night of Fire. What was this one again? Oh, that was a sudden change of events that you need to be like aware of. Put your head up, my love. Don't miss an opportunity. The answer is already in front of you. You already know what to do. That's the thing. No matter what you guys ask me in the questions below, you already, you're writing the question to me as if I'm gonna give you the answer, but you already know the answer. You just want confirmation. Anyways, my love, I hope you have enjoyed this new moon reading in Leo on July 23rd. And I hope it has helped, is going to help you deal with the energies for whatever comes up. Comment below and let me know below what is, what's the, the message that has jumped into your subconscious at the end of this reading, because as you know, I love hearing from you. I find it truly amazing. And I love them when you trust your intuition and you're like, yes, Mel, that was the message. And you let me know. And it just makes me feel really good that you, that you, yeah, that you're listening to your intuition. That is the biggest gift. That is the biggest gift that money can't buy. Anyways, my love, if you would love a private reading from me, click the link in the description and join the wait list. I've almost finished my website, so I will be able to start doing private readings for you. Um, I'm just working out the different levels. I'm thinking of doing a 15 minute reading, a 30, and then I'm going to do a priority reading as well. So they're gonna be three things, but yeah, jump onto that wait list. So if you love a reading on clarity or whatever is going on for your situation, I would love to help you out. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, the biggest thing that you can do to support me is just hit that subscribe button so you never miss another episode and hit the like button. It helps to boost my visibility on YouTube and then it helps the algorithm. It gets my videos out to a bigger audience. So thank you so much. And yeah, make sure you click the video to the side to find out more information. It's just gonna help you on your journey. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will see you next episode. I love you so much, my loves. Have an amazing day wherever you are on your journey to become a great special. Bye.